Hey guys, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 blind playthrough. We are in No Man's Wharf, and we have found this ghost ship, this fellow here, who may or may not be the teacher master person that, uh, that girl that we unpetrified, like, was looking for. But because I don't have enough intelligence on this character, he's just not interested in te talking to me. Maybe he'll actually teach you spells and stuff, so... If you're looking for that, there you go. We've got a summon sign here of some guy. Don't really want or need it. I'm still really in dire need of a bonfire, though. That's the problem. Big time. But we're okay. I got enough usage to sort of make it a little while longer. Anyway, there's this ghost ship. Hang on a... Hang on a sec. You sons of bitches. I walked up here and saw some shadows running at me from behind. Immediately being ganked. You piratey bastards. Shit, apparently I missed there. Vagabond cuffs. Pretty much got the full set now, I think, of this Vagabond thing. So what is this? Oh, it's like a mini summon sign. That's hilarious. So, yeah, you, you summon that and they're on a time limit to help you. And you get better rewards if you do it in the time limit. Alright, so we're on the pirate ship. Yes, so I have just learnt, just now, like, I can definitely confirm that the... Fuck. This is a bad time to be messing with weapons. Ugh, fuck. Um, yeah, I can confirm that the left light attack 100% does definitely uh, use both weapons in the attack as my right hand was just hit with the uh, durability damage there. So, I had to de-equip it very quickly there, make use of the fire long sword. Let's put it in the right hand for now. Um, where is it? There it is. And let's put on a shield for a little bit while I am hanging on to the th hope that I find a bonfire soon. Seriously, man. Anyway, we've cleared most of this ship now. Can I steer it? Oh, apparently not. Let's actually have a look around. So we can go in there. Got lots of summon signs about. There must be, I don't know, a boss nearby or something? Surely. What I'm still really worried about is the fact that I've still not found a bonfire. Maybe I'm just like walk past it. If I really want to go against a boss and then have to do the whole wharf again if I fuck up. Yeah, look, there's a fucking fog wall here. Well, I'm just going to go for it then. Is this, is this a mistake? I don't even have any flasks left. This is a mistake. That guy just buffed his weapon. Now, this is this is where this is 100%. No doubt in my mind where a boss is. Some sort of pirate boss. I'm just going to cut to when I find a bonfire. I need the flasks and I need to uh, have durability on my weapon. Hello? Oh, some sleepers in here. Whoa, holy shit. Whoa. I broke the vase behind him and he was covered in green goo and immediately died. I didn't hit him there. Oh my god, these fucking pots have poison in them. If you smash them, they poison you. Oh, what a cool thing. I'm glad I fucking learned that out the uh, easy way as opposed to what would have happened to me. Me being poisoned. Oh my god, I found an Estus Flash Shard. Hell yes. Oh, you fuckers. You fuckers. There's goddamn... Fucking... Some loot behind there. I can't get to it. I have a plan, though. I have a plan. I'm going to use... A firebomb. Open sesame. Yeah! And now I can just walk through. Sweet. Throwing knives and a flame butterfly. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Good to have. But still no bonfire. Shit. So I actually managed to find like a shortcut thing here. Do you remember this? Uh, it was like a gate much earlier. Maybe it's like unlock the way to the bonfire and all that. And we have this summon sign. I knew it. It's her. She's going to help us. All right, I'm, I'm going to summon her. I want her to. I want to see if she can actually be fucking useful. And if she's not being like dominated by groups of things that do lots of damage. Maybe she will actually help me 
Right, now I need to remember where the hell the bonfire was in the first place. So I ran to the shortcut, and here we are, and I'm summoning her, and I have a lot of enemies running at me. A lot of enemies, but she's summoned, she's going to help me, right? Please help me. Please, please just don't be useless this time. Do something. Attack. Good for you. There you go. We got a dog here. Right. Dog's dead. Glad to see that you're actually alive for more than three seconds. This time. And you can actually help me this time, right? Right, buddy? She's going to die instantly, isn't she? I really want to learn more about character. Really badly. And uh, she needs to be better at her job, really. Right, so having visited that bonfire, my weapons and such are restored. So that's awesome. And she should come down and help me soon. All right, we made it to the pirate ship. She's with me. And I have four Estus flasks. Very good, very good. All right, let's uh, clean this place up then, shall we? Now, we got the guy with the bow and two that run. So I'm going to deal with the guy with the bow. I was going to deal with him first, but I don't want her to be caught off guard by these fellows. I don't want her to lose all that much health. Good, she dealt with them. Now for the guy with the bow. And done. Sweet. Alright, so looking good. Looking very good. I'm going to pop one life gem. And then we're going to go do this so-called boss that I just have assumed is going to be here. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Are you with me? Here she is. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Some sort of sentry. It looks like it's got two people attached to it. That's creepy and weird. Alright. Get in there. So it can attack both ways and block. Shit. Oh my god. It can do a lot of damage if you let it. Like, how do you even attack it? It's got two sides. Get off her, man. Roll faster. That's the that's the rule of thumb here. Alright, do some damage there. Tank some hits. Show me why you're here. It looks really cool, though. The flexile sentry. Well, it is flexible, at least. But I can really wreck it if it gives me that little, like, timing. I kind of just wait for it to do its attacks and then just go in and absolutely devastate. Just like so. Alright, looks like it's pretty much over. Easy fight. Easy fight. Thank you for tanking the damage. You actually were really useful this time. See you later. Yeah. And we got the Sentry Soul. That wasn't too bad. I don't know what I was freaking out about. Just had some issues with the last boss we killed, didn't I? So, Alright, um, let's have a look at this soul. So the Flexile Sentry Soul. Here it is. Soul of Flexile Sentry. The Flexile Sentry is a merciless creature whose purpose is to punish the undead. Alright. So some sort of uh, punisher. Reminds me of the Pursuer a little bit, you know? Hunting undead and whatnot. Strange Pirate. It's like an undead flame. I don't know what that is. But I saw a chest, so I'm going to go for that first. Pyromancy flame and the fireball. So now I can use pyromancy. Interesting. And what the hell is this? I stole the ship. Wasn't my intention, I swear. Well, call me Captain Ghost Hollow from now on, guys. I am captain of the Ghost Crew in No Man's Wharf, and uh, I will. I expect to be treated as such. I would uh, would like booty and/or gold and treasure. 
and we're going to need to go to an island where I can put some X down and like dig a hole and put all, like all my valuable stuff in there. Overall, not a good plan. All right, so we've landed. Where the hell are we now? I'm going to watch one of the... Comfort? No. I want to watch how someone would die here. Did they fall off the side? It's my... It's what I expect. Here he is. What an idiot. What the fuck was that, man? How does that even happen? Just, like, look in front of you. Jesus. I'm on, like, a weird foggy island. This is another pirate's alcove. Hello? I don't think they'll care if I say housekeeping. It's not much of a house, is it? This is, this is kind of creepy. Well, we're going down a cage elevator. And it locks us in, so... No big deal. Oh, we're going up. Some loot there. Kind of want to get that loot. I wonder how you do it. We're going fucking pretty high up. Is this another prison? It looks like another pr There's a literally cages, like, everywhere, again. So many sinners. So many bad people, guys. So bad. Ooh, hang on. Yeah. Paying attention. Has its rewards. Let's find a bonfire here, seriously. Thought that was a loot there, but no. My eyes playing tricks on me. Hang on. The Lost Bastion? What are we doing back here? Some loot there. So, so, that Punisher person. Oh, Common Fruit. I really want to. <laughs> why does Common Fruit intrigue me so much? That does not look common. Spotted fruit temporarily boosts poison resist. This common fruit has no taste, but when facing a true test of metal, its benefits could make the difference between life and death. Alright, so poison resist. Why would it give me poison resist here? Blatant explanation would be that whatever I face next is going to do poison. So, I'm going to go in here thinking that. Bonfire! Hell yes! Thank God for that. Where the hell are we exactly? What is this place? Oh look, we got a fourth one. So, Macduff's workshop, exile holding cells, servants quarters, the tower, the tower. We're in the exile holding cells. All right. Well, I'm just gonna quickly go back to Majula and uh, level up before I lose these souls somehow. So I've come back and I've uh, got an extra flask permanently now. So I now have five, which is awesome. And I've also leveled up. I've got actually a bit more weight now. So I should be able to wear a slightly heavier stuff. It's not that much, like three points, but I saw this person stood here. And it looks like... It looks like... Uh, I thought it was the Crestfallen Warrior, but it's not. Oh my god, it's the, it's the woman that we saved. The girl that we unpetrified, and she's actually wearing the specific gear that we gave her. Oh, that's really cool. Shame she looks like a bit... Raggedy because of the gear that I gave her. Sorry about that. There you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. So we have a pyromancy teacher. And I do actually have a flame now. So I can actually give her different gear um, and we can just essentially uh, clove her in whatever we want. So it can make her look really cool I bet. So the raggedy thing I've made her right now. It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> It was a I can believe that. I found you petrified, after all. Be safe. Thank you. 
God, I love the system of finding people out in the world, saving them, and building a community in a world where it's ravaged and there is no towns left, and you build your own town. It's so fucking cool, man. We're slowly gaining more and more people. Extremely delightful and happy Crestfallen Warrior. Do you have anything to say about that? Life is a journey, and every journey eventually leads to home. Strangely, that was relevant. Did you notice any let? All right. The end. If so, may you find we we got a bit of new dialogue from him there on the first contact, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. He actually talked about something relevant to what I was just saying. We're making a home. It's so cool, man. Majula is really growing on me as a place. The view and just the atmosphere, the calm, relaxed area. Uh, the blacksmiths are really cool guy as well. It's just really cool. Anyway, let's continue with our mission. So I'm actually going to light a torch because it's so dark down here that I think it'd be nice to be able to see. You can actually see people in cells. You can't really see them in most places. I thought I'd be able to light some torches on the walls, sort of brighten up the place. But apparently not. No, yeah. All right, well, at least I can brighten up the area I'm in. God, the lighting effects in this game. So fucking brilliant. Just really impressive. They make such a huge difference to the game. Here we are, we're back at Los Bastiol. Why why are we here though? Where does this lead us exactly? Like the, there's the big tower in the center. I actually have the the light that I lit up there where the bonfire is with all the arches, the big bridge that I ran across. So down below should be where the lost sinner is, yeah? Like way down. Can't really get a good view from here, but somewhere down on my right. Okay, what the I thought I killed you. So, when I asked about these guys, you guys told me they're like the new Black Knights of the game, not like Solaire. Oh, look, there's an enemy, enemy there. Um, so, I guess I'm going to have to kill him, but you know what? First, I'm just going to check out the rest of the area. I hope you don't mind. I'll be back to come kill you. Don't worry. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'll be back. I've seen this area in trailers quite a lot. Come down here, you fuck. That's right. I've got a bone to pick with you. That's right, I can dodge, I can weave, and I can kick your ass. Nice. There's another one up there. No. What if there's loot on this? Let's break it down and find out. Love destructible environments. Hell yes! I knew it. Alluring Skull. So, you used to throw those on the ground and enemies in the near area would walk towards it. You can make them walk into fire. Looks like the same picture. Um, a skull of unknown ownership. Smashing it releases traces of souls which attract nearby foes. Does not work on all enemies, but can prove useful in unexpected ways. So yeah, I, I would like to see if I can make use of that in this game. It's like a hidden path here. Yes! Paying attention, guys! Can't say that enough, can I? Oh, another flash shard! Oh, yes! And a large titanite shard for upgrading. Oh, beautiful. Six flasks we're going to be able to work with. That is good news. It's very good news. I just really love holding torches in dark areas. Something very satisfying about it, you know? And one hit them. Oh, look! This is the uh, area. This is actually where this is where the blacksmith is on my left. I love the way the world links up, man. It's fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Can't unlock that yet. Here's the bonfire. And inside is the blacksmith. Oh, he's not chopping anymore. No, he is. No, there he is. I really want that chest that he's sat on. I, to fetch I wonder if he'll, like, talk to us and say something new to us if we bring him an ember. 
I think that's an interesting thought. I think that might work. Let's let, let's light the area up. Give him a nice little home. All right, let's go defeat that uh, white knight guy. So the black knight's so cool. And uh, see how hard he is. Well, I'm going to need my weapons for this. I hope you're ready, mate, because I am. Bring it on. Oh, he's got a halberd. Ooh. I went for the backstab. Didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. Interesting uh, move set there. It's not a halberd, by the way. It's a spear. I don't know why I said halberd. There's the backstab. Get owned. Hell yes. Power attack. And finisher. I missed. There's the finisher. Not too hard. And what do we get for efforts? A few souls and... Hide spear, so maybe we'll learn some more stuff about him with the spear that he had. I don't know why I said sword, but I did. Right, here it is. No, that's the twin blade. Um, twin blade fashion rare gay steel. Oh, yeah, I remember reading that. But where is this spear? Am I being blind? Hide spear. Spear originating from height. Special alloy makes it very durable. The composition of the alloy of these spears remains a mystery, but in Drang Lake, the attempt to imitate in, in result has resulted in similar brand steel. All right, well, can I actually equip this? This twin blade thing. I want to have a look what it is. No, I need 26 decks to use it, and I've got... I think I've got fucking... I think I've got 25... Let's actually just have a quick look at it, just to just to see it. Twin blade does sound pretty fucking cool. Whoa. Whoa! Holy shit. That looks cool. Oh man, not an attack pattern. What's it scaling like? Twin blade scaling is a C and a C as good as my dual wield. Interesting. Why does it have such little damage on it, though? Is it because I don't have the stat requirements for it? So it's lowered? Probably. Ah, well. Cool weapon, though. Very cool. So I guess that's uh, a second way to get to this area. Just, a, just another way to get to this area without, you know, in case you didn't find that nest, in, in case you didn't want to beat the pursuer yet. I think that's really interesting, the way the world links up. Really well done. So I was really interested by the area over here that uh, we unpetrified the woman. Um, yeah, the, the, the guy with the Moonlight Greatsword's gone now. But we should be able to actually open this up. We'll just be petrified and it's just like, Your character has been just deleted. Till so someone saves you. What's that sound? Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa there! Holy shit! Oh! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what the fuck? That scared the absolute shit out of me. You ugly fuckers. How fucking dare you? Oh my god, that scared the that scared the hell out of me. I just turned around, there was like fucking 50 of them. And this bastard, the basilisk, the back apparently. You know these eyes here aren't the real eyes, they're actually just distract and freak you out. Let me see if I can spot them. The real eyes... Yeah, there it is. You see on the mouth, there's like this little white bead. That's the real eye. Creepy shit, isn't it? Wow, so we got this new room. And a bonfire! Sweet! Hell yes. This place that I am now going to is apparently called the Shaded Woods. So, yeah, I quickly went back to the Medulla, as you can see there, and got that extra flask that I forgot to get while I was there. Sure, a few of you were losing your shit about that, but I did it. I did it. All right, let's make some progress. Looks like the uh, Basilisk has come back. Goodbye, Basilisk. Hello, death. I'm very interested by this area, but there's a lot of poison-related things 
and curses. So, nervous. Another shot. I gotta go back again instantly. Seven, seven flasks all of a sudden. God damn. God damn. It's wonderful, but I keep going back to my Julia and I, she's like seen me in the past like three minutes with multiple shards. They're supposed to be super rare. I bet she's really confused as to where the fuck I keep getting them from. All right, this time we're gonna actually leave this room. Basilisk is th <laughs> to die a third time. Poor fucking thing. I hate it though, so it's fine. All right, um, so we have this gate in front of us. A couple doors around here. I'm actually going to deal with these doors first because I know these bastards are going to pop out. Come get me as soon as I fuck with this gate. So I'd rather take them on one by one than uh, all at once. I'm sure you can understand that. Aha! I pulled the lever back there and it actually opened this. It was a random guess, but it worked, thankfully. Alright. I wonder where that Scottish guy is going to be with his giant greatsword. It'd be nice to see a friendly face in an area that I'm not sure will be too friendly. If we actually look up, we can tell where we are. Like, you can see you can see the bridge thing that we saw from Majula. So the shaded woods. So all those trees that we saw are actually here. In before an imminent, yeah, ambush. Stop eating and die. What were you eating? A fading soul. What the hell? Hell is a fading soul? Well, sounds pretty obvious, but... The fading soul of a lost undead who has gone hollow and still. It's just like a soul of a nameless soldier, but it's just known as fading soul. Maybe it's because he was eating it? Come get it, you fucks. Like that. Whoa! What the hell hit me? They're throwing, like, rocks at me. You bastards! <gasps> just throwing rocks at me? You ugly fucks. Stop throwing bloody pebbles at me. You goddamn idiots. I love being able to attack fast. In situations like that where there's multiple enemies, it's scary to be able to cleave, but if you fuck up and miss once, then uh, you need to be able to attack fast. What do they drop? Wood arrows, okay. Well, still useful. Keep my eyes on the area, looking for secrets. We did just find a Pharos Lockstone, so I'm looking forward to finding the new Pharos element in the area. I absolutely fucking love the Pharos, like, idea. Hidden bonuses and such for paying attention. I wonder if we'll ever get to meet this Pharos character. Some sort of broken statue there. Alright. A pop a life gem. I keep checking behind me because places like this, ambushes are bound to happen. He just died in a fight. Alright. Not much to worry about. Hear movement. Someone's munching on something in front of this bonfire. Guess I'll worry about it after I rest at the bonfire. Alright. Mr. Munch, where are you? Whoa. It's like a fogged area. That looks fucking creepy as shit. And what about the other side? That just keeps going. And this is where our guy's having a quick breakfast. Well, there's a lot for us to, to explore here. A lot of choices. I'm very, very intrigued by the sort of foggy area that probably will be the hardest area the fog the fogged woods but for now i'll have to say goodbye because uh, the episode's getting to that point again where it's getting a bit too long so i'll see you guys next time please leave a like if you enjoy these have a very good day see you next time
Koch. Yeah. Yeah, they were they weren't fucking with me. Oh god, I just fell down a hole. I just fell down a hole. There's loads of basilis in this hole. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. I don't want to be cursed. This is just like Dark Souls 1. In the pit, you fall down. Those evil bastards did it again. 